Welcome to Megger's Technical Support Video Series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to use TDR on the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will be going over TDR for the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. For a brief connection overview, first, apply your equipment safety ground to ground. Then apply your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or shield under test. Finally, place your high voltage output lead to the cable under test. Both the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump come equipped with a TDR. The TDR trace is just a 50 volt trace pulse to get a cable's signature. Once selected, you will come across this screen which shows searching for the cable's end. This here starts the TDR process. Once the TDR trace is complete, it will ask you to confirm the cable's length. If any adjustments need to be made, scroll over to the cogwheels to adjust manually. Once in the adjustment, on the far left side with the magnifying glass, this is where you change the visible range. Once selected, you can then zoom in or zoom out, stretching the signature. On the right side of the magnifying glass, this is where you can adjust the end marker manually. Once selected, you will go into a coarse and then a finer selection to fine tune the footage. You can also change the cable velocity. You can change the cable velocity manually, or you can also change it through a mega provided cable list. The cable list has different KV ranges in aluminum, copper, XLPE, EPR, PILC, and coax, just to name a few. The adjust gain setting adjusts the amplitude of the impedance markers. If any adjustments were made and needs to be saved, just select Confirm. After the TDR trace is confirmed, it will prompt you to start the fault trace. This concludes how to use TDR on the Easy Thump and the Smart Thump. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.